much tea. We need to talk about regarding June's daughter, Pumpkin. We found out just a few weeks ago that Pumpkin had filed for divorce from Josh, and this came as a shock to many. But what shocked me even more was the news that came out after that, that Pumpkin was dating Josh's cousin. And at first I was like, oh, there's no way. You're keeping it in the family. That is the ultimate act of betrayal to date your former husband's family member. But then it came out and yes, indeed, she is dating Josh's cousin. And there are also rumors that Josh is dating a girl who is pregnant and there were a few people coming out and claiming that Josh's girlfriend was pregnant with Pumpkin's boyfriend's baby. There were rumors that Pumpkin's boyfriend Darren and Josh's girlfriend were in a polyamorous relationship at one point when she ended up getting pregnant. And Pumpkin's boyfriend Darren has been married three times to the same woman. They'll get married, then they'll get divorced, and then they'll get back together, and then they'll get divorced again. And the second time they got divorced, he actually went out and got another girl pregnant, and then he went running back to his former wife again. And him and his wife were together up until earlier this year where they finally divorced again and then now he's with Pumpkin. And these are some alleged text messages of Darren reaching out to his former wife saying, hello beautiful, you miss me yet? Call me when you wake up, please. And this is all while he is with Pumpkin. And shout out to Abby Long. I found her in a Mama June Facebook group and she has been spilling a lot of tea on her Facebook page and on TikTok and she said we obtain information directly from the inf from the individuals involved with permission to share their accounts. To clarify, Keely is indeed pregnant with Darren Kitchen's baby and she is not romantically involved with Josh. They maintain a platonic friendship and it is important to note that the relationship was not polyamorous as Darren exploited the term to facilitate infidelity. Darren's ex claimed that he had cheated on her with multiple people and you can find more information on the TikTok account Tammy2389P. They were the TikTok account that originally first broke the news that Pumpkin and Josh were getting divorced. So they reached out to someone who is very close with a girl that is pregnant with Darren's baby and she claims that her and Josh are just friends, they're not together and she says, I appreciate you reaching out and asking for my statement about everything that has happened over the last few weeks. I'm going to try to just break it down by the things I feel need to be addressed that have been posted and said since all this hit the media. So the first thing I want to clear up is the polyamorous rumors. Keely has never been in a polyamorous relationship with Darren or anyone else. The second thing I'd like to make sure is out there is that there will not be a DNA test when she has the baby. She has given Darren every opportunity to step up and be present during this pregnancy and he has not once taken that opportunity. Therefore, he will not be in her or her child's life. She told him that he wanted to be present to do so and she would allow him a relationship since he's chosen to do the exact opposite the entire time. She does not want or need his help raising her child. He has signed over rights to one child and has others that he's not present in their lives. Okay, that is a major red flag if that's true. If he can't even be in his own children's lives, how does Pumpkin expect him to be a good father role for her children? And then it goes on to say, Keely does not want the same situation with her child, therefore she has chosen to do it with the help of her friends and family, and trust me, that baby will be completely loved and cared for without him in the picture. That being said, I was with Keely the night she and Darren got together, and to be frankly honest, I didn't expect that almost 30 weeks later, we'd be having this conversation. Okay, so it sounds like she's about 30 weeks pregnant. 
she and I had a night in and were very intoxicated. He showed up and ended up staying and of course we know how babies are made. Speaking for myself and on this situation, he definitely should not have slept with her in the state she was in. But there's nothing that can be done about that now. I've also been there for multiple phone calls and messages between the two of them to be able to say that he has not once made effort to be there or take responsibility and the fact that he has fathered her child. The next point I want to touch on is her relationship with Josh or lack of. I'd like to clear up the confusion of stating that it, they did not start seeing each other until after the separation because apparently that has a different meaning for everyone. Josh and Keely are not in a relationship or even call each other boyfriend-girlfriend. They've hung out a handful of times and my definition of seeing each other in group settings and have no titles or status like everyone has made it out to be. They started talking to one another after Josh found out Darren and Pumpkin and about the situation with Darren and Pumpkin and have both been a listening ear for the other during all this. That being said, I should have said hanging out and not seeing each other. There have been some truly awful comments made about Keely and Josh. She's not a homewrecker. Josh did not cheat on Lauren with Keely. From what I was aware of from the beginning, before any of this hit the media, Pumpkin and Darren had been hanging out and doing whatever while Josh was out of town or not around. I know they were posting pictures together while while he was on Snapchat long before the separation. This is not by any means to say that they had been hooking up with one another at that time, but they've been spending time together since before any of this was brought out in the open. So with that, what you will. I understand being in the drama and rumors are something that comes with the territory of being a TV star. With that being said though, remember that not everything you see on the internet is true. Sometimes the people feeding the information to the social media people are trying to spin their own narratives. People are going to believe what they want regardless, but I hope that I've helped shed a little light on my side and what I know to be true with this situation from Keely's side of things. Sorry it's so long. If you have any questions, please let me know. Then she said also Pumpkin and Darren had slept together right before Darren took Leanne out of town to a concert in Tennessee where Leanne most definitely made it look like they're together. I believe it's still on her Facebook from back in May. Darren has been staying at Pumpkin and Josh's house since Josh is at his mom's and rumor has it he's planning on moving in once Josh's 60 days is over because Josh, part of the divorce hearing they had, they made agreement that he would have up to 60 days to fully move his belongings out of the home. Like I said, this Facebook account, Abby Long, came under my radar when I was in this Mama June Facebook group and I saw another admin complaining because there were some posts being deleted and censored and this admin decided to make Pumpkin an admin of this Mama June Facebook group like over a year ago and since then she really hasn't been active in the group or done anything for the group but she decided to pop in recently and delete a post from this Abby Long and the posts were screenshots of messages that Darren had sent his ex while he was with Pumpkin telling her how much he misses her. Then a screenshot of a one and a half hour phone call with Pumpkin and this person reached out and said, I'm not trying to have drama, but you deserve better. But I get it. He looks like Prince Charming in the beginning. But trust me, once he's gotten what he wants, he'll be gone. Ask Leanne. And that's his ex. And Pumpkin said, he can't get anything for me at all. I don't have anything left to give or anybody for that matter. I made that very clear to him. What would he want in particular? I'm not trying to have drama either. I know there's red flags too. I'm not dumb. And these are all the posts that Pumpkin tried to delete. 
And then they ended up sending the screenshots where Darren signed his rights away to one of his children. And they said, since it's being said, he didn't sign his rights away. And then Pumpkin said, that ain't got nothing to do with me. And then after that, this person ended up blocking Pumpkin. And they said, the only thing I ask is that you don't call me in front of Darren because I am not and will not fight with me because of how he made my children feel. Or I will not fight with him because of how he made my children feel. And then they sent a screenshot of a message, but they ended up crossing out some of what they sent. And this TikTok account, Tammy2349P, I believe it is, they posted that Keely's baby is sadly Darren's baby. Josh and Keely are friends only and not dating. I thought differently too, but I checked it out. The real story is about to come out. They split up three months ago, so they just broke up three months ago, and then he got with Pumpkin. The dates add up. Josh and Darren's grandma passed away April 27th, and Darren and Pumpkin hooked up after the funeral. The story is coming out. Follow Tammy Girl 2389 That's the TikTok account. So yeah, definitely follow that account because they got all sorts of tea. And then they also claim that they've heard from inside sources that Pumpkin is allegedly under investigation. They claim that locals had been speaking out claiming that Pumpkin was being investigated by the Atlanta Special Victims Unit. And Mama June came out on her Facebook page and this is what she had to say. She said, look, I know some people may get mad because y'all be watching all our social media, but I want to speak on this situation with Josh and Pumpkin. Because as Pumpkin's mom and Gigi to their kids, I would like to clear the air. There's no CPS case. The kids don't live with Josh's mama. Josh doesn't live with his mama. He lives with Keely and Pumpkin lives in the family home. But right now, every other week, they stay at the family home with kids on their weeks. They have them because the kids don't do well if they ain't at home to go to sleep. That is their safe spot. Always has been even when we have done family vacations and pumpkin and josh have the kids a hundred percent of the time every other week like parents are supposed to yes has myself or gam gam watched them since all this so josh and pumpkin so they can work once in a while yes because we are there for both of them like i've told both of them if you need someone, call us and Gam Gam has done the same. And as far as everyone dragging Pumpkin, Josh, Keely, or Darren, hello, people get divorced every day. We just happen to be on TV, so it's a little more public. That's all the many people saying Josh hates me. Well, I know he probably does, and that's okay. I have no ill will towards him as far as Darren and Keely being involved with Pumpkin and Josh. I'll say there's a lot of the story people don't want to talk about and that's okay. But both Darren and Keely both have knew both sides for years so they knew what they were signing up for. And I'll leave you with this. Some people close to the situation is going to spin it in the way they want but everything, and I mean everything, that is in the dark will come to the light eventually. Trust and believe that. Okay, so that one girl was claiming that her and Josh were just friends. But it sounds like they're roommates, according to June, because she said Josh is living with Keely, not his mom. And she said, but at the end of the day, there is well seven kids involved with Josh and Pumpkin. Two with Darren and one with Keely, and they're the people who are important at the end of the day, no matter how much mud is being thrown now. So think about that. There's three sides to everyone. The, I think she said three sides to every story. The truth, some lies, and in middle, a combination of both. So just sit on that and think, I'm not posting to bash anyone. I'm just tired of my grandbabies being all in the media and lies being told on them. The situation and the situation, if this makes Pumpkin and Josh, Darren, Keeley, or everyone else feel some type of way, sorry, but y'all know me, I'll say what I need to say. 
but y'all know how to contact me and don't tell someone else how you feel you can come to me one on one period this will be all i have to say have a blessed day so this is a lot right here i'm still in shock that pumpkin is dating josh's cousin and now all this I just don't know how you explain that to the kids because before he got with Pumpkin, he would have been considered what, like the her kid's cousin? If that's Josh's cousin, that would be the kid's cousin. And if Pumpkin and Darren get married, then he would be the stepdaddy slash cousin. <laughs> but that is it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. Check out that TikTok page if you're interested in more Mama June tea. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.